I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't. Hello, crafty friends. So, um, to my surprise, Debbie was telling me that she did not find a tutorial for a A1 envelope box. And for some odd reason, when you look at your We Are Memory Keepers punch board, I thought for sure it would tell you um, the card box size for a A1 uh, box, you know, uh, for A1 cards, but it does not say that. So I thought that was very interesting. We have an A7, A8, but that's all I see on here. I'm sorry if you hear my son giggling in the background. He's playing his video game, so I apologize for that. But anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. So the first thing you're going to need is your glue or tape or both, uh, which I always use both. Um, and then you're going to need a sheet of 12 by 12 paper, okay? And I'm going to uh, put this cutting guide below for you. Um, in the about or description box and um, hold on one second. Let me grab my instructions real quick Okay, I went ahead and printed them out So you're going to need a sheet of 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. That's about 90 pounds or more Okay, and then you're going to cut it to 11 and a half by 10 and 5 eighths So let me go ahead and do that right now and I'll be right back Okay, so I have mine cut now. It is now at 11 and a half by 10 and 5 eighths. We're going to go ahead and start on the 11 and a half inch side. And you are going to score at 2 inches, um, 3 and a quarter. Okay. And then you're going to score at 8 and a quarter. And then you're going to score at nine and a half. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and turn it to our 10 and 5 8 inch side. And I'm going to make sure that when I do this, I'm cutting on the side that I did not uh, cut it at. Okay. So what I mean by that is I want the smooth edge. Okay. All right, so um, now that I have it on the right side, I'm going to score again at two inches. Three and a quarter. Then at six and one eighth. Yeah, let me make sure that's right. Six and one eighth. No, excuse me. Six and seven eighths. Good thing I <laughs> I knew something was up. Okay, it didn't sound right. <laughs> Six and seven eighths. Okay. And eight and one eighth. Okay. So, yeah, I thought it was really strange that, um, I mean, maybe there were, but they didn't specify that it was an A1, and I don't have time to sit here and try to figure out you know, the measurement that they gave is the right one. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, um, because obviously it's going to be a little bit bigger than the card, right? And um, so anyway, I actually went a little bit bigger than my box. And the reason why I did that was, is to make sure that everything fit inside there. So I'm going to flip it over to the bumpy side. I call that the mountain high side. Doesn't matter what you call it as long as it works for you. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to go ahead and X out all the parts that you're going to cut out, okay? We're going to come over here. Okay, and we're going to cut that out. And it's going to be the same on the opposite side, right? So again, I'm going to cut here, 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 and here, okay? And what I want you to do is let's just go ahead and cut those parts out first, right? And make sure that you are cutting out the actual bump of the score line, right? So we're going to do that. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to do something 
in a minute. But in the meantime, I want to go ahead and cut all of these out, right? And I'm going to cut this. So I'm cutting like just right outside of that score line to get rid of the bumpiness. I don't want that in there. And if you don't get it exactly the first time, you can fix it up, right? Okay. So we're going to do that on all four sides. And normally I would try to do everything all at one time, but I want to be specific when I show you this one thing that I want you to do. Okay. All right. And again. Sometimes it's hard to see. That's why I try to score as hard as I possibly can so that I can see what I'm cutting. There we go. Okay, and one last side. So I don't know about y'all, but we've had several uh, weeks of rain here in South Florida. And we've had a couple in the last couple days, like, you know, where it's cloudy and rains at first, but then it, then it gets sunny, which is nice. Um, but, you know, I'm just over the rain, guys. I'm over it. I mean, basically, since the time I came back from Texas, it's been nothing but rain, rain, rain. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, there you go. I just want to make sure it's still recording because sometimes my little screen um, flashes out. Okay, so now we have ours on the long side, right? And I want to make sure that my thing's folding correctly, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you, like, I'm going to draw a little line right here, okay? So I'm going to cut out that little tiny skinny sliver and I'm going to do the same thing on both on all four, oops, whew, that was crazy, right? On all four sides, okay? So I'm just going to show you real quick. We want to cut out that entire sliver, right? So it's going to look like, I don't know, about a sixteenth of an inch. Let me just go ahead and do it on all four sides. Then I'll come back out and cut out the. You're just going to go up to that score line. Okay. And then we're going to do the other side. See guys, I told you my hands shake, right? So you can see my little squiggly line. That's why I always use pencil because I can erase whatever I mess up, right? There we go. Okie dokie. Okay. All right, now I can go ahead and start folding on all my score lines. I'm just going to start in this direction first and just work my way around. All right, and just make sure that when you are folding it straight, right? You don't want to have wonky lines, right? Go ahead and do this one. This one I can fix up a little bit. This one looks a little cray cray. Like I cut this on an angle. Oopsie. Here we go. Fix that up, right? No need to look wild. Okay. And then I'm going to find my angle corner punch. 
right? Just so that I have nice smooth angles. And apparently I missed a little bit of this liver here. So I'm going to fix that up. Okay. And again, push these up as well. Okay. And always make sure you burnish in your edges. That way it uh, closes a lot smoother. Okay. Now. I'm going to get my little four corner punch. Now I happen to have the We Are Memory Keepers one. I'm going to use the seven millimeter. Okay, and I'm just going to go around all my little edges and cut those out. And then I can see I missed a spot again. There we go. So it's not the biggest, but it's not the smallest, right? I didn't choose a small one because I actually wanted to make a difference <laughs> for my corners, right? It just tucks in a lot smoother when you, you know, do the rounded corners. And it has a more professional looking edge at the end of the closing of the box, right? Okay. My goodness. I think I got them all. Oops, almost. Thought I did. I lied. Okay. Now that I have everything folded, you want to make sure that you have the shorter top up here, right? So this should be the same measurement. Oops. But you're going to see that these two are a different size. So this is actually your top and bottom of your box, right? All right. So at the bottom of the box, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and fold this over, right? And then you're going to make a little tick mark. I know, sorry. Or you can do it this way. Let's just, I'm just playing with you. We're going to do our little ruler and we're going to go up two and a half inches. Okay, so I'm going right to the edge of this right here. And I'm going to make a little mark. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same on this side, right? And you're like, what are you doing this for? Okay, now... If you can see, I left it on this box, but I don't like it. I think it's ugly, right? So what I'm hoping to do is hopefully if I do this right. Okay. Right. That's what I want to do. I know that seems crazy. And I want to make sure that I do it on the top part where the short side is, right? I'm just going to, I don't know why I grabbed this glue instead of my other one, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Just going to burnish that in, smooth that in. Where's my little, uh -oh, of course I lose it, right? That's, that's how I roll, guys. Whenever I need something, I lose it. Okay. Then again, I'm going to get started in that corner. And then I'm going to go to my little edge here. No. Why did I do that? Oops. Guys, ignore what I just did. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. And erase my little line here. And I did it good on this side so you can't see it, right? But I will erase it on the inside even though they're not going to see that. Okay, this time I'm going to use the right glue gun. And we're going to burnish that in.
And this is what I like about this little glue gun. I can make it pretty precise, right? I guess that's why they call it the precision glue gun. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, add my tape or glue, right? And for me, I think I'm just going to glue this right now. I normally would do tape too, but I'm not in a rush, okay? I'm sorry, my son is singing and he's practicing again. Should be doing his homework because he was complaining about it earlier. Okay. Okay, and I'm just gonna burnish my edges. Oops. I should have gone in a little bit more. Just be sure to be careful of that, right? I just hold it and you know line up the edges the best I can hold it for a second in place and then you can come back in and smooth it in okay now we have to be careful of where we add our glue right so you don't want to add your glue all the way in the middle here right but you don't want to go up too high so basically keep your glue underneath this little line here if that makes sense right here run underneath this edge right before you wouldn't know that sorry guys this thing is fading out again okay and then i can go ahead and go along my edge here not all the way up guys not all the way up Oh no, yeah, you can go all the way up. I'm sorry, I lied. Okay. Now I'm just going to come right over here to the edge and hold it in place for just a minute. And then I can come along here and do the same thing. perfect now if you don't like the way that looks you know I completely understand you know you can keep it the other way like this but I kind of think that looks a little bit neater right that's just me I don't know it's easier to grab the cards when you're pulling them out so anyway and then that is it guys you just do this and I'm probably going to use some Velcro. And how cute is that, right? Now it'll fit your little cards in here. So here's an example of one of them. Bada bing, bada boom. Now will it fit the envelope? I don't know. Let's see. I do have some A1 envelopes. Where'd they go? Oh, I don't think it's going to hold the envelope, but let's see. Let's double check that. Sorry, I'm making a mess here. I bought this on Amazon. Oh, good. They even have them individually packed in here. Love it. And I love all the colors, right? So they pack in three different colors. And let's pick out a winter color. Let's see if this goes in here. Why not? Let's double check. Wow. It, not really, guys. <laughs> it doesn't really fit in there. But it was a good try, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, I just want to let you know that. If you do that, you could make it a little bit bigger. You'll just have to adjust your measurements. And um, But it is super cute, guys. Love this little envelope box. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. Again, I'm going to have the um the measurements down there below for you 
or I will also add in the uh, PDF link. It's a Google PDF link that'll show you the pictures of like where, where you need to make sure that you cut and all that stuff, right? So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day and I'll be seeing you all soon with another fun and easy tutorial. Bye guys. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're on the way.